Today we're going to talk about the age of exploration. This is a period in world history when people started to travel and explore all around the world. And we're going to look specifically at what caused this exploration. What caused people to take this risk to explore by sea? Because exploring by sea was a risk. It was a risk financially, and it was a risk for their life. A lot of people would die out at sea. We narrowed down the causes of exploration to the three G's. And these three G's are God, glory, and gold. And we're going to look at those right now. So how did God cause exploration? Well, God caused exploration because the Europeans wanted to spread Christianity. They thought it was their duty to spread Christianity. And they believed that colonizing foreign lands allowed them to convert native people to Christianity. And they actually believed that they were saving their souls. Anyone who they converted to Christianity, they believed they saved their souls. Uh, and also, they were still feeling some competition from the Muslims after the Crusades. So if we look down here, uh, one question that we're going to continue to come back to is, they were spreading Christianity while killing and taking land from the natives. Does this make sense to you? We're going to look back at that in class. Okay, the second cause, glory. Uh, people wanted to pursue glory. and But this idea of personal glory was kind of new in Europe, and it came about as a result of that humanism that we talked about. Humanism, people started to see the importance in human and the significance of humans, and so they wanted that glory. The printing press also allowed for their glory to be spread, to become famous, more people know about you. And then also people wanted glory for their countries, right? They wanted their countries to get bigger. They wanted their countries to have more glory. And that is a result of this nationalism, right? This idea, oops, this idea of extreme pride in your country. And then the last one, gold. Explorers wanted actual gold. They wanted to find gold, but they also wanted anything that could make them money. Foreign spices were most desirable. We looked at that in class. They were desirable because there was no refrigeration and spices would help preserve meat. They also wanted pepper, nutmeg, and cinnamon just to season their food, some things that we take for granted today. There are natural resources such as timber, sugar, and tobacco. Those will be very prevalent in the Americas once we get to that, and then ivory from Africa. Uh, okay, so here are the spices, the spice regions in relationship to Europe. And remember, there were a lot of conflicts and a lot of taxes so they did not travel by land, and so they will explore by sea to get there. Finally, the new technologies that enabled exploration that we looked at yesterday, uh, there was the caravel, which was faster and more, more maneuverable ship. The caravel was also combined with the lantean sail, the lantean sail, which allowed for larger ships to have more control and survive through storms. So if they got caught in a storm out in sea, they could actually make it through it. And then finally, the compass, the astrolabe, which helped to look at the stars to know where you are, and the development of maps helped explorers be able to travel further off the coast. They felt confident that they could travel into the sea, know where they're going, and find their way home.